Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use two or more VL53L0X laser distance sensor with Arduino. We're going to display the text, uh, the distance on the screen, but you can use it for other purpose. For example, four of this can be used for a robotic arm or a car that can measure the surrounding distance. Let me now explain the code. A5 on this pen, these are also I square C, and it responds perfectly. And if I put it to the ceiling, it shows out of range. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have a separate video explaining all these modules with datasheet and full code explanation. The link for my those videos are below this video in the description. In the X shot pen, you can turn on and off the sensor. About a year ago, I had another video explaining how to assign I2C address to this module. The link for that video would be below this video in the description. But here, if you shut this down, if you put this pen to low, the device will be shut down. So if you're connecting multiple of this, you can reset or shut one of the device off and keep the other one on, assign a I2C address to it, then shut that off and then shut this, turn this on by setting this to high and assign separate IP address to this one, I2C address, sorry, to this one. This way you can have different I2C address and uh, you can have multiple of these devices. And here is on the data sheet, it shows the X-shut pen, it's a digital pen. It's active low, if you want to shut down the device, you have to keep it low. Zero volt, and to turn it on, keep it high. I've seen a lot of requests in offering a solution for this VL53L0X to measure the distance, because in many robotics applications, especially for smart car or some robotic arm that, it, that can go in multiple directions, you want to know the distance in a surrounding area. We can use this such that, for example, if this was your smart car, you can use four of these, one at the front, at the back, at the left and the right, so your robot is aware of the surrounding distance. This solution will work for all of these modules, as you can see this type, it is sold in this shape, or in this shape, or a little larger, or like this. So the code will work with all of this. I'm using Adafruit library, so you can download it and use it easily. If you have not pressed the subscribe button, please do so now, so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. Let me explain the wiring. I've used this uh, same color for the sensor and for this wire because for these modules because for these modules we need i square c pens even though i have here two extra i square c and then a4 and a5 on this pen these are also i square c i'm using a breadboard because you might face this challenge to connect four five six or more for that purpose i'm using this breadboard so i'm using the same color here and here the orange is connected five volts at this point yellow is ground and then I'm using blue. So bl this blue and green are flipped, meaning green is the last one, but here it is at the last second, and blue, which is last second on here, this is in, in the last portion because the module and the sensor is arranged this way. So here on the module, you need to use VN. This will be connected to five volts. Ground, ground will be connected to ground, and then we have SCL and SDA. SDA is analog 4 and SCL is analog 5. I've arranged them in this color and we will just connect it exactly the way they are. And then here the last pen which we need in this module, X shut is here labeled as X. We will connect this wire at this point. The last pen here, the pink one. But if you're using this one, then we have X shut here, the last one. This is the X-shot. You must connect it, otherwise it will not work. And also here it shows X-shot on this module. And if you're getting this black 
module here, x shot is in here. I'm connecting, I'm connecting one module here. As you can see, orange is here. I've used the same wire. I'm just inserting in the, in the same line. Four of those. And then this is the other one, again orange. Inserting them here in the same order. The last pin for this one, this will be connected to pin 6 of Arduino. This will, the other one will be connected to pin 7. I'm connecting this to pin 7 and the other one to pin 6. So the one that you're connecting to pin 7 is your sensor 1. The one that you're connecting to pin 6 is your sensor 2. But you can play with this and find out which one is which. And if you have, if you, and if you have more devices and if you have more sensors, you can connect 5, 4, 3 up to 2. And also you can go here. Mm, 8, 9, 10 up to 13. And even if you run out of that, you can go also to pin analog 0 to analog 3. Four more is here. They can be used as a digital pen as well. Let me now explain the code. This is a short explanation. This is the explanation of two sensor code for full detail and explanation on how to use it for more than two. It is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. First, you need to download the library. I've used the Adafruit library here. I'll provide you the link of the zip file. Click on this clone or download and then select download zip or the link that I provide you, then save it as a zip file in your computer. After that, go to sketch, add include library and then add .zip library and then point it to where you have saved it. For example, in my computer, it might be inside downloads and tutorial, and this could be a zip file, .zip, and select open. Once you click open, make sure to close Arduino IDE and then reopen it. Then click on file, examples, and then scroll down until you see Adafruit VL53L0X, and here are some examples, and the middle one it says it says VL53L0X underscore dual. Click on that and open it. So this is the code. This LOX1 address, we are defining address. This is I squared C address for first sensor and that is for the second sensor. We have LOX2. And then we are defining the shot, the X shot pin for LOX1 for the first sensor. This is the digital pin 6 and 7. You will define it. And here, this one measure one dot range millimeter this will give you the range and you can use it for any purpose you want and this is for the sensor number two and here is the demonstration i'm just going to test it with one of this because the wiring is exactly the same the same pin label is the same as i get this closer you can see that it shows sensor one and sensor two these are the distance and it responds perfectly and if i put it to the ceiling it shows out of range Thank you for watching. This was how to use two or more VL53L0X with Arduino to measure distance. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.
If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. The solution that I'm offering will work for this type of module, either this uh, module or if it is sold like this black one or like this one. So it will work for all of them because the main sensor is the same.